Hey everybody, I want to talk about the details of a hook. The first thing you gotta do if you're gonna hook is you better have a good grip. And that would mean that, that when you grip that club, you ought to be able to see the label of the glove and your hands underneath. Okay, if you, I see too many people trying to hit straight shots with it. This is a weak grip, you guys. This screams a fade. The face is gonna be open because the thumbs are going right down the shaft and the left hand is too weak. I can't see any label of the grip. Okay, the other thing that has to happen on this shot is that face has got to be closed before before the club gets to the ball so it's going to look something like this and i'm going to start releasing back in here and i'm going to be sure that club looks like that at impact and then it continues to go up into here and look where my glove is my glove is underneath the right hand look at the video of tiger on there too look where his hands are tiger and i got a lot in common by the way i, I, I figured you already do that and the face is down. Folks, if the face comes through like this, and you think that's gonna, you're going to guide it, you're going to hold your face square, that's why the ball's going to the, right, to the right. That weak, no good for nothing, short hitting, ugly looking shot that goes to the right. That club has got to release through here, and that means it rotates, and it rotates a lot. From hip to hip, it rotates, rotates a lot. And look at my hands again. That's where I want my hands right here, belt high. This ought to be the summer that you get out of that no good for nothing shot to the right. Do you want to hit that shot the rest of your life? It's costing you probably 15 to 20 yards off the tee alone and probably at least one iron in length. Release the club. Quit trying to guide it. It's the only way to play. Hit the ball hard and release it. Good luck to you.